you guys down five and you come in the game, you have to know that it's time for you, right? I mean, it's been that way the whole season. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was um, a close game. You know, it was an ugly game. Both teams turning it over, missing shots, um, a lot of bad possessions. Low scoring, um, so you knew it was going to come to you know the last five or six minutes where it was who was going to be better in that stretch on uh, both ends of the floor. Uh, and I told Coach at the end of the third um, to you know do you want me to stay in uh, to start the fourth or do you want to give me two minutes because I kind of was saving a little bit of energy um, to make a, a real push. And uh, he was like, I'm going to give you two minutes. So I mean, even the, the whole time I was sitting on the bench, I knew I was going to come in and. Um, you know, try to keep it in my hands a little bit more and try to attack and, and impose my will on the end of the game a little bit more. Um, and it worked out, you know, scoring and playmaking. Yeah, well, the thing was, too, after the three, you hit Rodney in the corner, you hit CJ. Having the trust in your teammates like that, what does that mean to you? I mean, it's, to you? it's huge. I think um, it's, at times we're going to be able to have success when I'm making shots and taking over where I'm the one scoring the ball. But I think... Um, It'll go further and it'll be more, um, it'll be stronger. You know, we'll be able to do it more often when um, we trust in each other, making an extra pass and guys are, you know, in that situation where they get an opportunity to, to take and make a, a big shot or we showing that level of trust, you know, with each other in those types of moments of the game. Um, so once I made the shots, I knew that they would just get even tighter on me, um, which they did and guys started, you know, turning and watching. Um, and I just, you know, try to make the right plays and, and guys knock down shots. And with that lineup, the court's really spread. You have yeah. a lot of room to operate. You know? Yeah, I mean, we we got guys that can make shots. I mean, AT, you know, saw the ball going tonight. CJ hit a big one at the end. Hoodie hit a few. You know, Bays hit a few back to back in the third. So um, we have guys out there that can shoot the ball, and they had done it in tonight's game. And I think down the stretch, um, they had to honor that. And, you know, once I hit a few, they tightened back up. And then those plays were there to be made. And um, we made the, we got the stops when we needed them, and we made the shots too. And usually you learn a lot about a team going through close games. You guys got three in a row. What have you learned about this group in the early going here? Um, just that we, we stay together. You know, I think in these, in this entire road trip, we've had a lot of, it's been weird how many ups and downs we've had in every game. It's been like, really good for a quarter, then we really bad for two quarters, and then we find ourselves in the game, and then we just we just figure it out. Um, and I think to be able to do that so early in the season when you're still trying to find your identity, um, still trying to learn each other, I think that just shows um, character. I think that's one thing that's, you know, from top to bottom, we all have that about us, where we're going to play to the end. If it's going well, if it's going bad, we're just going to keep doing the right things. Um, and I think it's paying off for us uh, early in the season, especially on uh, such a tough road trip. I mean, I think that's a obvious, it's an obvious answer. I mean, you got Russ and Paul George, the ball's in their hands most of the time. And even now, you know, uh, Chris Paul's going to have it. Um, Gilgis Alexander is going to have it. Schroeder's going to have it. But I just think just the ball movement, the ball was moving, hopping around a little bit more. Um, it just looked a little bit different because of personnel, but I, don't, I didn't see, you know, too much of a style change. Damn, I think he brought up Breeze to three straight easy wins. You know what I mean? Double digits. It's got to be something nice about having close games. You got there right through. Do you kind of like doing that early in the year? No, I think it's good for us. Um, you know, it's, you're not going to have any, you know, wins that you're just going to breeze to. Um, this year in the West, and especially at this point in the season, everybody's excited. It's the beginning of the year, optimistic. They think everybody thinks at this point that it's their year. They're gonna be better, and um, you got to be prepared for a fight. But I think for us to be able to um, not only have these types of games this early, but for them to come on a, a road trip, you know, four games and I think six nights, um, when you are put in that type of situation, I think it's great for us because you know we get in that experience early in the season where it's coming down the line where. Make or break, three minutes, who going to win these three minutes? You know, I, every game it seems like at the four minute mark, they like, win these four minutes. And whoever wins those four minutes is going to win the game. So um, I think it's great experience uh, for our team, for everybody to just be in those situations.